All right, Coach, back at home after a couple of weeks against a tough Utah team who's kind of been on a tear as of late. Uh, right, Game got off to a little bit of a delay tonight, some technical issues. First, let's talk about that. Does that affect you guys at all when you guys get in that momentum, the game starting momentum, and you have to delay it about 10, 15 minutes? And, and what did you tell the guys in the locker room before the game? You know, I, I think it can affect um, one team or both teams. You know, kind of a midweek game, I think, it didn't really affect either team. Um, they both, you know, we both kind of came out with the same energy. Uh, once you guys got out there, how did you feel? And you know, after the guys had had a couple of days off, and a good trip up in Alaska, maybe not the ones you wanted, but you know, that that's always a tough stretch of travel. Uh, the couple of days off, how did you feel off the game? How the guys got started tonight? You know, we've been playing the game the right way. I'd say, you know, our last six games have been pretty strong. We've had a couple periods where we haven't come to play, but. Uh, really our last two games in Alaska and then again tonight. I mean we were ready um, I think we're getting contributions from every line um, And I think when you play the game the right way you get rewarded and you know I, I'm just proud of the way the guys have been competing when We've heard you talk on and off all season about playing that complete game Do you think you've hit that portion yet or you're getting pretty close to where you're gonna hit a complete game? You know uh, I, There's a long way to go. Uh, there's no doubt about that, but I you know, uh, There's not much bad I can say about the way we played um, you know it, it's it's been a long progress you know we've we've had a lot of turnover it seems like every time we'd get a win we'd lose a guy or a guy would go down for injury so I feel like you know we've, we've had some some time with this group and we're building and uh, I think it's starting to show on the ice and that's going to lead of course Brett Robinson gets the first and third goals of the night third being an empty netter but talk about Luke Johnson we just pick him up from San Francisco tonight uh, talk about what kind of player he is what you see in him and, and how uh, how excited you were to see him on the ice tonight when you thought of his debut game with the Steelheads yeah yeah he obviously had a great game tonight uh, I was actually recruiting him two years ago when he when he finished up in Belleville in the OHL and then he went to Canadian College for one year. Um, so when I had the opportunity to get him, I was pretty excited. I, I know uh, quite a bit about him and I think he's the best attribute I could say. He's, he plays with heart and that goes a long way. We saw tonight he was physical, he was engaged. You know, I could play him in all situations and uh, I was glad to see him get rewarded. Of course, last time Utah was here, there was a lot of extra curricular, so to speak, especially at the end of the game. Uh, and you know, sometimes that can carry over from one team to the next. Uh, were you proud of the way the guys responded tonight, physically kind of stepping up to the plate, but yet keeping things calm? Well, you know, we've brought in, uh, you know, since Christmas, we brought in some tougher players. Uh, I think, you know, we've got confidence now that, you know, that's not really an issue. We just need to focus on playing our game, playing the right way. Um, you know, we have plenty of guys that can take care of uh, any fighting or any rough stuff that goes on. So, you know, that's a non-issue. It's nice that we can focus on, on playing games and, and our skilled guys don't have to worry about that stuff. So, uh, you know, it was a non-factor. We're, we're here to win hockey games. And finally, usually in these three game stretches, you're preparing for one team for three days. Uh, however, that's different this week. Colorado coming up Friday and Saturday. Another tough team right around the corner. Uh, obviously, you're gonna celebrate this win tonight, but uh, what are you expecting from this weekend from Colorado? You know, the standings are pretty tight. I think we understand you know, how important all these games are. Um, we do want to separate ourselves. So certainly Colorado is a team that uh, has got off to a good start. Um, you know, I think we've played every, every team in our conference well. But, uh, you know, again, it's about the consistency and, and going on a little bit of a string here uh, of wins. So we're excited to get going Friday. You know, we'll, we'll enjoy this one tonight and regroup for that. Well, congrats on the Monday night, Coach. We'll see you this weekend. All right. Thanks a lot.